Hello friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. <laughs> God is good all the time. And I'm standing here in the entryway to my former dance studio and martial arts studio. So I taught ballet in this studio for 28 years and I taught martial arts for about 10, I think it was. So that was a combination of uh, Taekwondo mostly, but also Wu Wei Gung Fu because I have black belts in both of those, as does my oldest son. And then my youngest son has the black belt in Taekwondo. But anyway, um, because I retired from teaching a few years ago, uh, both the dance and the martial arts, we've been converting this room into something totally different. And I've been promising to do a tour of it. And I wanna share with you a video we did a little while back uh, not too long ago uh, about reevaluating our goals and that has something to do with some of the things you're going to see in this room. So I'm going to link to that video right up here and also know that since that video we have actually purchased some property in case you're new to our channel and don't know that. So we do have a little piece of property and we might be expanding on that and buying some more down the road. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a tour of this room so you can see what's going on in here. This is the foyer that leads in. This is where this is where my um my off-grid laundry and my electric laundry. So this big foyer is our, um, and I have a video just on that that I'll link to up there too. Um, this used to be, I used to have a love seat here. It used to also be the waiting room for parents when they were waiting for the kids because right here uh, we have pocket doors on either side. So I have two pocket doors so I can totally close this big entryway into this room. But this is also why, because this was a business area, it was a studio, this is why we have all these lights, because we, we, we did a lot of the work on this room ourselves, but we had this added onto our house. At one time there was a two car garage here that had been converted into a family room, rec room that we then uh, changed into a dance room and then added, then later added on and doubled the size. So what you see over there, that little room, that used to be there, totally gone. This counter wasn't here at all. And so this whole area was all opened up. So I'll go ahead and insert a couple of pictures here so you can see what it once used to look like. Um, I, can't, I don't think I can find any pictures of just the room by itself. So you might see pictures of martial arts and from dance classes. Uh, anyway, so that will give you an idea. So over there is the pool table that uh, Patrick has several videos on. If you're interested in how, you know, we got the table and he did all the, the leveling and refabricating it. So it's got the cover on it now. I'm not going to pull it up. And then I still have, as far as martial arts, I still have all my martial arts equipment and we still have the, the, uh, the heavy bag for punching, kicking and stuff like that and practicing drills on. And so uh, anyway, Patrick, this is not finished. I was gonna wait until Patrick was done, but I, I really wanted to get this video done. So this right here, he built this whole little, it's just two walls at all, is all it is to wall in this area over here and make this fabric room for me. So this right here and all down here, he's gonna put some trim work on and up there too. And then he's gonna make a storage area up in there because now we have a projector screen, a projector and a projector screen, and the projector screen is huge. And right now it's just sitting in there kind of in my way. And so he wants to be able to put that up there. And that's for doing presentations like we did in Rochester. And I'll go ahead and link to that video up there in the corner in case you'd like to see that. And uh, that's why we invested in that. So yeah, so anyway, now that you know skirt making and even apron making and other sewing is, has become a big part of our business, uh, I have a good stash of fabric. So I'm not going to take you in that little room because I'm not done organizing my fabrics. I'm still working on it, but this right here is a set of shelves that I had up against the wall initially and then made these little curtains for. And so that kind of makes like a three wall thing there and then I get two I get back into that room this way. Oh, and that doll back there. I'm not a doll collector. That was my mom's I brought home because that meant a lot to her. So anyway, um, I, right here you see piled on this desk, you'll see piles of skirts ready to go together. There's my soap back there curing. And then of course this is my treadle machine and where I do all my sewing. I've got, this is also where I do all my video editing so i'll edit videos while i'm sitting here working on skirts and i got a skirt right there custom order ready to go together and another skirt there that i had was working on just to put directly up on the store when this custom order came in so that i laid out last night and it's all ready to sew and then out here you know i i've got this i haven't even finished pulling the curtains back all the way but i got this 
sitting and move the sewing machine so I can sit here and look directly out uh, at my front yard garden and watch it coming along. So you can see that right there, my potatoes and the peach tree with the comfrey around it and then our young fruit trees that we put in this year. So I, I love it. I love being able to sit here, especially on nice days, especially early in the morning when the sun, in the summertime, when the sun is coming directly in right on my face. I love that. So anyway, there's my sewing corner. Now let me go, let me explain a little bit of this. All these paintings, the clock on both sides of the wall, all the paintings were what I was able to bring home from my mom's as well as that clock too. So we got a clock on each wall. And so that was a, you know, they were just too beautiful to throw away and I wasn't sure what to do with them. And then remembered we had this big old wall, you know, these two blank walls that needed a decor. And then this whiteboard, uh, we decided to put up here for various things for, you know, whenever I, if I do any talks, demonstrations or anything in here, you know, if I, you know, need something to write on, I've got that. I also have my projector screen, but uh, also for playing Pictionary, we, when we play Pictionary, we like to, you know, just use a whiteboard for drawing the pictures rather than wasting paper. <laughs> so we've always done it that way and that gives us a set place to play Pictionary. Now, for now, I'm leaving this area completely open because this is gonna be a good place where right over there, you'll see those blue things. Those are wrestling mats or, you know, they're actually martial arts mats that was given to me by my Sifu, my Wu Wei Gung Fu Sifu, and they're old. I mean, um, in fact, Wally J, if anybody who's in martial arts knows who's Wally J is, he's actually been on those very mats that I have right there, which is pretty cool. So he's, he's a pretty big name in small circle jujitsu. But anyway, I can lay the mats out. If I ever decide I can move any of these, these are just card tables, or actually not card tables, they're folding tables. And um, we brought these home for my mom too. She had two of those. So I got, I was able to get rid of all the card tables, not get rid of them, but fold them up and use these. They're more sturdy. But anyway, these can be moved, folded up, all the chairs, the tables, and got out of the way. And so I can still have all this space. And if I need to, I can even move this furniture up against that wall there and have more space there. If I decide to do any kind of like uh, self-defense classes, because uh, I still think I might do some self-defense classes for women and children again. And this is actually, that, that, that much space is really all you, you need for that kind of stuff. Even though we used to, when I did the martial arts, we used to use this whole room. Oh, and by the way, obviously the mirrors, all the mirrors around here, there's me, these were all for the sake of ballet, mostly, you know, and you'll see bars on the mirrors. So uh, anyway, and you can see right down there, I've got some Lincoln logs and cars because when not too long ago, we had a family get together and my nephew's kids were here. And so we pull these out so they can play with them. Okay, and then here are the cabinets. We have a video series on these. These used to be um, actually my old kitchen cabinets, the lower ones. We still have the old upper ones in the kitchen that need to come out eventually. And then Patrick rebuilt all the kitchen cabinets and made all new ones. And I'll show you a picture of what those look like right here. And initially he moved these old ones here out into his shop and they were dark, dark brown. Like, the, like you'll see in my kitchen videos of the upper cabinets. Those are the original cabinets that came with the house. But anyway, then he decided to put them in here when we decided to make a change and he refinished them all. So he's got a whole video series just on that. And then he made this whole oak countertop from scratch. And he has at least, we put out at least one video on this. Uh, I think I think it might be a series too. And and that's just, I'm not, I, that's probably not gonna stay there. It's just a garland I picked up at a garage sale for three bucks that I thought would look good in here. So I laid it there for now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's what's going on there. And then that corner over there, I keep forgetting to say, this is where I cut hair. So that's, you'll see, uh, in fact, I just cut my youngest son's hair. So that's why that's laying there. And that's also a cover I was using for a long time, but now I've got a, a little more, this is a better cover for putting over people when I'm cutting their hair. So I cut my both my son's hair and my husband's hair and that's where all that's done. So that's my little barber shop right there. There's my guitar and my bass guitar. Um, I used to be on worship teams, played bass, played guitar, played, I sang and I played the drum.
drums. And I used to have a drum set in here too, but I gave it to my oldest son because he's a much better drummer than I am. Okay, and then these, uh, this is just an office chair. And right now I don't know where to put either one of these. Patrick brought this home because it was, it was my mom's and uh, got it fixed up. And he actually just likes to play with it. <laughs> He likes, the dog likes to sit on his lap and they ride around in this big room. I still sometimes refer to this as the dance room, but um, yeah, he just likes to have fun with it. But he also thought, it, you know, it might be something to have a good idea to just keep it on hand. He just didn't, mostly the thing was he didn't want to see it go to the dump. Okay, so the tables and chairs, obviously this just makes an alternate dining room for us because our dining room and, you know, the, the real quote unquote dining room is very small. And so when we have a lot of company over, we can, we, I've got over there in that corner, I've got more card tables and more chairs because we bought all those. There's a really good deal on these sets of card tables with four chairs um, years ago, years and years ago at Walmart. And we bought them mostly for the sake of the chairs. So if we, when, if ever I did small dance shows in here, I usually did big ones like over at the school or church. But if I ever wanted to do small ones in here, I'd have plenty of chairs. Well, these have come in handy and I did end up doing small dance shows. And then when I do Taekwondo tests, it was nice to have chairs in here for the parents to sit at. And so we didn't have cabinets back there, but we'd have a row of chairs back there where the parents could sit and watch and sometimes over on this wall. And then this is an, our old, old <laughs> love seat, the very first one we had. Uh, so this is all just furniture. We didn't buy new fur in here. We just kind of, came up with it. This was my son's girlfriend's old love seat and she just gave it to us. So I just threw a couple of my denim quilts over that. There's that quilt that I made for my mom. It doesn't really match, but I don't care. You know, I, I actually cover up with that a lot. So this has become our new hangout area in here. And this chair was my mom's too, as was that. So, you know, actually we ended up with a lot of great stuff that helped, helped us get this room put together. So we set this up so it would be a great a family game area, you know, for playing video games, which is why we invested in this and in the Xbox. We thought we'd never do something like that, but we did, and we've already used it, you know, a couple times. The kids, you know, came over and played rock band, just had a great time with a big old family get together while other family could sit here and eat all the munchies. This countertop became um, even though it's a workspace for other things, you know, when we have the get togethers, this countertop becomes our buffet area for all the food and drinks. And yeah, so it, it's just really great. And then I know I'm kind of jumping around here. Obviously here is the foosball table that we got a good deal on. You had to drive to go get it, but uh, you can find pool tables and foosball tables all the time. Uh, locally just go to your facebook market if you're looking for something like this so uh, i love foosball this is one of my favorite things okay and then over here is just this is where i like to do my vinegar i don't like to keep it all on my kitchen counter because it takes up too much room and as the summer goes on eventually i'll have a lot more vinegar so i'm probably going to have maybe at least eight vinegars going out here these are all citrus vinegars because i've been eating a lot of oranges and lemons so these are all um uh, vinegars made for cleaning that i've got going this one here should be about done so i'll be straining it out soon and i have a video on how to make a citrus vinegar if i have any i cards left i'll link to it right up here and then a little refrigerator we acquired for an incredibly good price uh, we ended up moving it in here when my son's girlfriend was renting out our guest room from us and i moved this in here so she could have her own little refrigerator and use the martial arts mats you might have seen this in an older video that i did doing another tour of this room and actually walled this off so she had this whole area and moved one of these love seats in there but um just a quick look at the guest room this was originally built to be an office and we did originally use it as an office and my sewing room so there's that's why there's no closet and it's just a small room it was simply meant to be an office but then we eventually, a couple of years ago, a few years ago, we converted it into a guest room. And then Patrick built that rustic shelf up there so I could store some of my old antique and vintage books and some other antique finds and just really cool stuff to kind of add to the feel of the whole room because it's supposed to be very rustic. And of course, another quilt that I made, there's actually two quilts on this bed that I made and I made the curtains too. They match, they're all the same fabric and that pillow I made. <laughs> 
The reason this board is here is so that I can leave this door open so it can get ventilation. So, cause otherwise it gets kind of musty in there, but to also keep the dogs out cause I don't like them. I, I just like to keep them out of that room. I don't, there's not really no need to, but I, I just prefer to keep them out of there. Okay. Oh, and then here's just a pile of projects I'm working on. So the skirt that I got going on over there, I've got an apron, I've got to cut out. I've got it partly cut out, but I got to finish cutting it out and getting it laid out so I can get that go together because it goes with that skirt. And then a couple of crochet projects. So this is where in the evening I'll kind of relax in here. I'll sit down there on that carpet and cut out my fabrics or I'll sit here on the love seat and work on my crochet projects while I'm watching a movie or listening to something on up there. So that's that's what all that's about. I've walked by it several times, but just in case you missed it, that is my um, propane oven, my camp oven. So it's got a stove top and I've used it a few times. But basically what that is, is just our backup for, you know, if we have a power outage and we need an oven and not just a wood stove for baking things like pies and bread, that's what that's for. So um, I did do a video on that and uh, I think I'm out of iCards, but I can link to it at the end if you would like to see that video. So anyway, that's just, there's still more work to be done. Like we want to get, he just, uh, cause when we're doing our little get togethers, I don't like these lights on. I, I hate, hate these lights. So I just run usually light everything using these led lights and it's, it just makes a nice, ambiance in here and a nice lighting but when they're shooting pool it's just not quite enough light i mean i have lamps all over the place i light too but they need more direct light on that so pat just hung that shop light up there uh, temporarily and so that's not going to stay you see the extension cord going down over there so eventually what we'd like to do is get a nice light you know a nice looking light that we can hang over there that you might you typically would see over a pool table but something pretty and uh yeah so that's that's the deal that's the room for those who are interested in seeing what we've got it's all you know it really does kind of play into youtube because like i said i make my skirts and i got you know i shoot videos over there i shoot videos over here <laughs> i'm shooting videos here sometimes pat and i sit over here you know i'll move this love seat over here and we'll sit here and shoot videos and then there's that other sign that ben root made for us when we went to the homesteading fair which he just made it for us you know and this is all resin inlay and it's it's just very cool so now i got a sign here and in our foyer so yeah there's the room and there's cody decided to make an appearance oh and the carpet we just bought recently at costco so we could have something something down there because i i like to sit on the floor especially when i'm cutting out fabrics okay well i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching take care and god bless